A record 112,000 people are currently hospitalized in the U.S. with COVID-19, and California is now reporting more than 50,000 new cases today. That's a nearly 3.5% increase from yesterday. But there is more hope ahead. The FDA has released its official review of the Moderna vaccine, finding it highly effective. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest. One vaccine out and another likely on the way. A light at the end of the tunnel nine months into this pandemic. I am very hopeful that I have to tell you, every time I look at the data, every time I see new data, I am more and more impressed at both of these vaccines. An FDA advisory committee is set to vote on emergency use authorization of Moderna's vaccine Thursday. And if it gets the official green light from there, six million doses could be distributed next week. Thousands of healthcare workers across the country have already gotten the Pfizer vaccine and more shipments are still Still rolling out that moment that I can just like embrace my kids and just give them the biggest hug I can possibly give them. I, I'll probably just cry my eyes out. <laughs> Unlike Pfizer, Moderna's vaccine does not need to be stored in ultra-cold freezers, and it will only be authorized for people 18 and older versus Pfizer's, which is for age 16 and up. Moderna's is believed to be nearly 95% effective, a sign of hope as the coronavirus rages across the country. Last week was the deadliest since the pandemic began, and the U.S. death toll keeps rising with more than 3,000 dying Tuesday alone, according to the COVID tracking project. Mary Helen Lopez Garcia of Grand Prairie, Texas, lost her sister and brother-in-law, both beloved teachers. So they were holding hands before they started to remove them from the intubation. They died within one minute of each other. In California, 60 morgue trucks were ordered on standby, the state activating its mass fatality program, preparing for what officials think might be the worst days yet. We're going through perhaps the most intense an urgent moment since the beginning of this pandemic. And Rena Roy joins us now. Rena, what kind of timeline are we looking at in terms of the general population getting vaccinated? Yeah, Diane, that is a question so many Americans have right now, as you can imagine. When with, will the average person be able to get vaccinated? Well, federal officials say they are hoping the general population will have access to vaccines by the end of February or March. And they're saying it will be a similar process to getting the flu shot with people simply going into drugstores to get vaccinated. Now, the goal here is to see herd immunity by summer with more vaccines likely to be authorized uh, for emergency use in the coming months. Diane. Fingers crossed. Rena Roy, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.